Hi, my name is Nick. I'm with Lunatech. I want to show you how to properly use your Aquabot. First off, do not use it with any metal bottles. It's not designed to work with them, and even if you can get it to seat on one, it's not safe. Second, don't overpressurize your Aquabot. If you do, something's probably going to break. You can always order spare parts, but better if you don't have to. So, you get your Aquabot, you got your bottle, you want to fill it up with water. But you got to leave about 15-20% of the room for air. And the reason is, is because water does not compress. So if you don't have any room for air, put your Aquabot on, it's going to start pumping, it's going to go up to super high pressure right away and something's going to break. And you can't really store much energy when you don't have air to compress. So leave room for air. Don't over tighten the lid and start pumping. That's like 10 pumps. I think it's that's somewhere between 30 and 40 PSI right now. And <clears throat> to use the mist, just have the cap all the way tight. The jet, just give it a half a turn. And the shower pattern, you take off the cap. Aquabot also has two modes. It has stealth mode and pulse mode. And this is currently in pulse mode. And pulse mode allows air, compressed air to mix in with the water. It'll give you a little bit more force. Um, you'll use a little bit less water. Kind of have a mistier spray pattern. Um, and also has a cool sound. Let me give you an example. So you can see how it spits. I like using that for water fights and cleaning gear. It also has a stealth mode. And the stealth mode blocks that compressed air. So you'll use a little bit more water. Your pressure will last longer, but you get a nice clean stream. This is how I like to use it if I'm drinking or going to be misting off primarily. So this again, this is the mist, the jet, a nice clean stream as I drink. Use the cap to keep the, uh, the part I put in my mouth nice and clean. To switch back and forth between the stealth and the pulse mode, there is a little tiny hole. And if you can't see it, I'll do a zoom in on it so you can. Uh, what you do is you just take that silicone tube and you can cover it and that'll put it in stealth mode to keep the air from coming mixing in or you can uncover that hole and that'll put it in pulse mode. When you get your Aquabot, if for some reason you're having trouble uh, building pressure or getting it uh, to stay sealed, there's four things you can check. You want to check inside first to make sure there's this big black o-ring that seals up against the lid. Then. If that's there, uh, you want to check and make sure the pump barrel is tight enough. If it's not tight, it'll allow air to go back out through the pump barrel up to the top. Third would be what's called the umbrella valve. Umbrella valve is a one-way valve that lets air into the bottle. It keeps your air and your water from coming back through the pump barrel. Make sure that's properly seated. And the fourth would be this adapter right here. You just want to make sure that the black O-ring is inside that, uh, that space for it. If you're still having problems after checking those four things, send an email to support at Lunatech Gear, and we'll see if we can get you straightened out. Thank you.